Dent. As we continue reflecting on the legacy of the king, King Goodwill Zueli Tiniga Peguzul, I'm now joined by African scholar, writer and historian, Prince Zosa Shongwe, history lecturer at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in Pumile Lingiti, and we will also be joined by Professor Sehaugele Ngobani of the Royal House Trust. Uh, and you can be a part of this conversation. Tag us on Twitter at Newsroom 405. What's up your questions and your comments uh, to 072 110 Prince, good evening and thank you very much for your time. Good, good evening. Uh, thank you for me being here. And, uh, uh, and Pumaleli as well, uh, good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, good evening and thank you. Let's start, uh, Mpumalele, with a little bit of uh, the, the history from um, uh, uh, the King Cyprian Gadinu uh, Zulu uh, and now King Goodwill Zuelitini Gapeg Zulu and him taking over uh, the role uh, in 1968 or shall we say 1971 because the king says, well, there was word of a possible assassination and his uncles and his sisters had to uh, take him into hiding. Oh yes, yes. Um, uh, thank you for the for the for the opportunity. Um, we, as as we know, as the uh, as we are currently in the in the post democratic era, uh, it's the first time that we we, we uh, some of us is for the first time that we hear of the death of a of a of a king. Uh, the the exact date that the, the king was uh, installed was in uh, the death of December uh, 19, uh, 1971. Uh, after uh, what we, you, we, you have said, the, 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 uh, that is also suspected that there, there were assassination uh, attempts. Uh, so uh, the, the, as, the, as, as the, 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 the inauguration uh, uh, took place, we, we know that there were, uh, there were um, uh, over, over 30,000 uh, people who attended uh, that, uh, that event. And it was not only, only, only the Zulus. There were there, there were lots of people who were who were there, and uh, uh, including uh, people from other other tribes, uh, Tosa, and uh, all, all all over the country, and and also uh, people who came from overseas. Uh, so it was a it was a it was a, a, a big event, and um, everyone uh, was uh, was was welcome. That also uh, uh, talks a lot about. How this uh, the, the 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 current king yeah. uh, 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 ruled as they welcomed everyone, no matter uh, 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 of no matter what your race is, yeah. and then no matter what your your your, your ethnic is, your, your color. Um, it, 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 it depicts uh, the, the the inauguration, uh, the well attended inauguration was well attended, and then with uh, 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 too many people, and also. Uh, we, we know that the 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 the, the king Imbobe uh, 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 followed uh, his, uh, his his father. He was a, he was a, his, uh, was a successor. Uh, his father Upe 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 So and then between uh, 19, 19, 1968 and also uh, 19, 19, 1971. So between this period. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the the there was that uh, there was that a uh, feeling among the Zulus and, and and some other people. Just now, uh, the nation is weak. It doesn't have a leader. Uh, it doesn't uh, have uh, no one who's, who's, who's leading it. But uh, those fears uh, were, were were blown off uh, when the the, the, the king uh, was inaugurated. Uh, after after the death of his father, yeah. uh, the uh, premier of Guadalupe Natal calls him a visionary uh, monarch, uh, Prince. Let's talk about what was happening prior to him coming on. Uh, I think there was the 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 the, the Anglo uh, uh, Zulu War uh, that had happened, yeah. uh, and they lost in Ulundi, right? Yes. Uh, and then his father then took over. What happened during that period? He is now viewed as, as seen as the man who brought back a lot of the cultural identity of the Zulu nation uh, from a small group to what we are calling today 12 million uh, Zulus that are living in South Africa, amounting to 22% of the population. Uh, after the end of Zulu War or, uh, that, that took place uh, from the 22nd of, uh, 22nd of January 1879, up until the 4th of July, 1879. But he, even though 
there were some aftermath of the war up until uh, September 1879 because the people from the area where I come from, the further north of KZN, uh, around the town of uh, Dumbe or Paul Petersburg, the era of Entombe. Yeah. Even though the king was defeated on the 4th of July 1879, then they continued yeah. under the leadership of uh, Prince Mbilini and uh, Inkos Manyonyo Bakpega. They continued to fight up until September. That is why the, 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 the pacification agreement between the, the, the British and Uzulu uh, took place in September 1879. So after uh, 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 the, the war, King Kajwayo wa, 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 was uh, captured by the British, so they say they were arresting him, but actually they were capturing him. He was captured and taken to Cape Town, uh, where he was, he, he was kept as a prisoner uh, up, uh, up until um, 1883, the end of 1883. Uh, in that period, he managed to go to England. Yeah. So uh, when he came back, uh, there was a, a civil war uh, we, within the, uh, the, the Zulu nation caused by the princes within the, the Zulu royal house itself. Uh, and that uh, a, a, a civil war led to the demise of the health of the king, King Kajwai. Therefore, he passed away in uh, 1884. Yeah. After that, there came uh, King Tinu Zulu, uh, who continued to fight against colonialism, of course, un unsuccessfully. but. Uh, his fight led to the emergence of the new ways of fighting the, the, the struggle against colonialism because that's where the first liberation movement emerged, which is ANC. Uh, after the, uh, that, uh, there was also uh, resistance against uh, uh, colonial taxation by the British around uh, 1906 when there was a, a, a King uh, Ingos Pambata uprising against the British and other Amakos, especially in the area of what then was known as Natal, which is the southern part of uh, Guazulu. Uh, so there was that uh, fight, but that was the end of the life of King Tinezul. Thereafter uh, came uh, King Solomon. Um, King Solomon Pumzuzulu got Tinezulu. He ruled at the very unfortunate time when colonialism was at its highest point. It was in its zenith. Uh, so he could not even lift a finger against the British because all of South Africa and Southern Africa was conquered already. Uh, he could only just voice uh, his displeasure of the way uh, colonialism was treating yeah. uh, the, the, the indigenous people. Uh, so he, he didn't even live long. Yeah, he passed away around 1833. I think by age he was 39 years old. Uh, after him, then, is when uh, uh, came uh, uh, King Pewuzulu. But before him, there was a regent, uh, 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 Prince Mshienga Tinuzulu, who, who held the throne for uh, the time being. Then after him, uh, then the, 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 that's when uh, King Pewuzulu ca uh, came into power. Uh, also, uh, King Pewuzulu could not do much, as I'm saying, due to the pressure of colonialism. Uh, then after him, then that's when uh, uh, Prince Mkwaizen also came. After in 1968, Prince Mkwaizen came as a regent also. Uh, then there was that uh, a suspicion then that uh, uh, the, 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 the incoming successor will not be very safe. That's when he was fixed out of the kingdom and taken to the homeland of Gwandebele, uh, where he stayed for some years. Then he, he came back in 1971 to be installed as a king. Yeah. yeah. And he's uh, coming in, I mean, he's coming in when the British uh, had split the Zulu nation, what, into 13 uh, uh, clans or something of that nature? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, and, and he was now coming in to try and bring them all back, back, back together. T talk to me about the character of his leadership and... Uh, how he, he managed to then gather the Zulu nation that had now scattered into the various clans? Um, the, the credit there can mostly uh, also go to his prime minister uh, because he was very fortunate that uh, the prime minister that he got in, in his time, which is uh, Nkosi Mangosutuktilis, he is the man who, who was highly educated within the Zulu nation, a man who is very brave and very uh, 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 intellectualistic, who could come up with the tactics. So he helped him a lot. 
to consolidate the Zulu nation uh, through his political formations that he did. Uh, and also, when he came into power, uh, King Zulitin, from that era of the 70s, it was the most tumultuous era in the history of South Africa because that's when the, the anti-apartheid struggle uh, was at its peak, when people really now started to fight physically against apartheid, and which, due to the power of uh, the, the apartheid regime, it managed to set yes. uh, people against each other. Yes. So now. Uh, King Zulitin, he came in that moment when uh, it, it, the, the country was very chaotic. Yeah. So we, with the power of his prime minister, somehow he managed to keep the Zulu nation intact. Yeah. And he managed to reconcile the two sides. That, that, that was his struggle up until a, early 1990s. Yeah. Yes. Pro Pro Professor Ngobani, let's, let's bring you in here. There is, um, uh, of course, um, a conflict in that story of the relationship between uh, the, the monarch and, and, and the prime minister. Uh, others feeling that uh, because the prime minister was more political, wanted to assert his, his political ambitions uh, via uh, the, the monarch and, and, and play a huge influence. And that was a point of contestation and conflict. What is your view? Uh, I'm sorry that uh, the line is very, very faint. I couldn't hear the long statement that you just put across. I'm saying, what is your view of the relationship between the Prime Minister of the Amazulu Nation and the late King? Uh, in my personal opinion, I think they were good friends as they were related to they were cousins, and the, the, the relationship was stable. That's how I can explain it. But uh, I, I, I would say that since uh, Inkosi Uptelis was is the, the prime minister of KwaZulu, uh, he worked very well with the, the, the chief, yeah. the king. Because even when the king was celebrating uh, his birthdays, uh, Chief Butelez uh, was always present, and he was ne always with the king, even when the king was uh, happy or in trouble. Uh, Inko Butelez will always be there. Yeah. So what we, we have observed was that they, they had a very uh, close relationship. Very, very close relationship. All right, Prof, let's take a break. When we come back, I want to have us a little bit more of uh, your thinking here as well as uh, Prince Oza Shongwe and Mpumile Lingiti with us uh, tonight. The conversation around the, the legacy of uh, the late King Kudus Velitini Kapedizu. Stay with us on the Newsfeed Late Night.
Making news on the newsfeed late night this hour, hundreds of mourners flocked the streets leading to the royal palace in Nongoma to pay their last respects to the late Amazulu king, Goodwill Zueli Tiniga Pegusu. ESCOM power cuts move to stage two and will continue until 5 a.m. on Saturday. And former transport minister Dipuo Peters says she first learned of her impending sacking from an article published in a Gupta linked newspaper. Welcome back as we continue reflecting on the legacy of King Goodwill's Reli Tiniga Peru Zulu. I'm joined by African scholar, writer, and historian Prince Zosa Shongwe, history lecturer at the University of Gwazulu Natal, Mpumele Lingiti, and uh, Professor Shaugele uh, Ngubani of the Royal House Trust. You can be a part of this conversation by taking us at Newsroom 405. What's up your questions and your comments to 072-110-5584. Um, Mpumele, let's talk then about the modern issues that uh, plagued uh, the monarch, uh, particularly when you look at uh, the monarch's relationship with the ruling party, the African National Congress? Oh, yes. Um, I, I think the, 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 uh, as uh, one of the speakers have, have, have uh, uh, said, uh, the king came into, into, into power where uh, they were, they were, they were. The country was very busy uh, during the height of of, of, of apartheid, and uh, we also uh, remember that uh, by this time there were there were uh, laws that was happening, in, in, including anti-apartheid uh, uh, riots and uh, uh, the liberation movements uh, try, uh, uh, trying to liberate uh, the, the country from the the, the, the echelons of, of apartheid. And um, the 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 king, uh, King Zuli Tsinikapegu Zulu, uh, ensured that while we are we we, we are we, we are living in the, in the post uh, democratic uh, government, he ensured that the 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 uh, he tried to intermingle the culture, uh, culture and the customs uh, of the of of the Zulu nation into the modern times. Uh, it did not say that we, 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 we should uh, uh, do the, the, our practices and all that we did in the, uh, uh, during the past, uh, because now we are in the, in, the, in the 21st century and also uh, in, the, in, the, in the end of the, of the, of the uh, 19th century. Uh, so the, when we talk about uh, of, uh, the, 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 the contributions uh, that, 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 he, that he made, uh, it, 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 it includes uh, the, 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 we've seen him in, in campaigns, uh, the king, uh, where he, he speaks against uh, the abuse of, of, of women and children, uh, where, where last year he did. Mpumelele, are you still there? Oh, we seem to have lost Mpumeleli there on uh, the line. All right, uh, let, let's come back to that point that Mpumeleli was talking about, particularly the question of uh, the uh, uh, king's relationship in general uh, with, for example, sexual violence. And there are many who are, uh, for example, saying, well, this also uh, was part of the criticism leveled at the king because of the practice of Ugutwala uh, within uh, the, the, the Zulu nation. And many saying, well, that is a form of... Uh, uh, sexual violence on, on women. How did the king deal with those conflicts? Uh, I will attest the former speaker that uh, indeed the king uh, spoke against uh, the, the, the violation of women and children. Uh, and also, I would like to highlight that the Zulu culture, it, it has never condoned uh, the, 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 the abuse of women, especially in the form of, uh, it's what we call imiku, but the epids, if I, I can find maybe an English word of that, uh, that, 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 that act of Ugu Twalin Tumbi. It's not actually a, a Zulu custom, because the, the, the Zulu culture in general, it values uh, the, the art of persuasion where a young man will persuade a, a, a young woman, what we call Ubusoga, Ugushela. 
that, that is highly appreciated and emphasized in, in, in Zulu culture. So an act like that one of Twanindomi uh, is actually not culture, even though some people, they pretend to present it forward as, as if it's a, it's a Zulu custom. It's not part and parcel of Zulu customs. Uh, because it was a misinterpretation yeah. of, of some of the Zulu customs whereby maybe if two young men uh, they, 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 they were uh, persuading uh, wa, 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 one young lady and uh, it happened that uh, when it was time to pay Lobola, the other one paid first because the other one could not afford yeah. then uh, there would be what we call umbang or the rival so that's where this thing came from, that uh, the one who, who afforded late to, to get the cows to pay the one, he might uh, steal what, what in English they would call eloping, they will, they will elope with her lover. Mm. Then the, 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 that's where the, the proper Ubu uh, came from. But the way it ended up being done, whereby just a certain guy will go to work in Johannesburg, then he comes back, he has money, then he see a young lady w w within the village, then he, he, he sends some of his brothers to, to grab her and take her away. That's not a, a, a proper Zulu custom. All right. Yes. Bumilele, you're back with us, and uh, we were touching a little bit also on the relationship between His Majesty and the governing party. In, in fact, in recent uh, times, he was heard uh, quite critical of the internal factions that were creating instability uh, in the province, uh, saying this has got to come uh, to an end. But uh, expand a little bit on where you were going. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I, sorry, I, 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 I cast off. Um, I, was, I, was say, I was saying the, we, we, we did see uh, the king uh, during his, uh, his, his reign, uh, attending uh, different uh, political uh, gatherings, uh, no matter who was uh, doing that, uh, that, that kind of a, of a, of a, gander, a, a gathering. So I, I assume that he, he, the king had a, a, a healthy uh, relationship uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with, the, with the ANC, uh, but we, we, as far as, uh, as it was healthy, uh, the, the there will be uh, there will be questions, especially uh, the monies uh, being given uh, or being uh, afforded to the to the to the, uh, to, the to the real house uh, that's being raised by the uh, by the the oppos op op opposition parties, and uh, so there will be, there, there were questions on on, on the uh, with the with the uh, regarding uh, the monies, uh, but the, the 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 relationship between. Uh, the uh, the king and also the 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 the, the ANC was a, was a healthy one. We, we did see him uh, attending different uh, kinds of events, uh, different kinds of, of 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 events, and also with the with the uh, umkosi umsanga, uh, the, the 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 king uh, extended uh, his his hand uh, in 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 uh, when it comes to to to, to, to transports. And then, and then, uh, doing this, organizing it with the with the with the with the, uh, the different uh, municipalities to bring uh, uh, young girls into into any uh, any and also the 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 umkosi umkosi wasela, and also the the agricultural where the king encouraged uh, people to 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 to, uh, to plant seeds, and also his uh, voice against women. Uh, and child uh, and, 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 ch and child abuse. So he did work uh, with the with the uh, ruling uh, party uh, with the ruling party. I, I saw the relationship uh, as being a healthy one. And then we did see uh, the, the the premier the premier attending to uh, the, the premier uh, with the with the king at the same at the, at the same events. Uh, we. Uh, I think the, the reason was was a was a healthy one, although there were there were uh, issues there and there. Yeah. Uh, Professor Gubani, let's talk a little bit about the formation of uh, the the idea of Mkosi Omshang. I think the 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 king uh, would, would would say this was revealed to him uh, while he was in prayer that there was a a deadly disease of some sort that would come and wipe the nation off. Well, now he's referring to it as HIV/AIDS, and he. He had this burden to come up with something that would save the nation. And this was uh, the platform that he had uh, chosen to do uh, so to educate the nation on uh, uh, 
uh, uh, proper sexual behavior? Yes, I think I think that was the whole purpose. Uh, he was more concerned about the nation where young uh, girls die, uh, young men and young girls die of HIV, and he thought that if he reintroduces uh, um, that will prevent or reduce uh, the, the scale of HIV uh, because it will uh, force uh, the, the maiden to abstain from sex because of the virginity testing. And I think this, this has reduced the, the, the scale drastically. And also for men, he introduced uh, um, 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 circumcision. And also, it is believed that when uh, a man is circumcised, uh, the, the chances of uh, being infected by HIV are reduced. So that was the main purpose for, for him to reintroduce this function. And also, the, the platform where he would engage with them, address them, and allow them to uh, have a conversation with them, which was very rare because in the past you would never come closer to the king, but the king was very close to to, to, to the youth. And besides Umkoso um, Mshanga, Umkoso also is a platform for young men. That's why he promoted moral regeneration and how men should behave, and also issues of gender-based uh, violence were also discussed. There. Was, that's why these ceremonies take uh, five, five, five years. It's not just uh, a once-off thing. They stay there in Nongoma, and they stay for five days so that they get proper uh, counseling, and also they have a chance to discuss issues among themselves. So it, it, it was a platform which was very, very useful to uh, uh, HIV AIDS. And uh, what will the effect of his uh, uh, death be then on all that work, uh, but also uh, on uh, the work of uh, the Ingonyama Trust, the work uh, uh, within the royal family, but also the stability of the royal family? Prof? Yeah, I, I have a problem because the line is very, very, very faint. Uh, the place where I am, the, the, the connectivity is very unstable. I, I'm saying yeah. what will the impact of his death be on that work that you've just mentioned that he was doing, uh, broadly speaking, uh, the work that uh, the Ngonyama Trust does and the stability of the royal family? Uh, I, I'm not uh, quite because I'm only involved with the Zulu Royal Household Trust, which caters for the welfare of His Majesty. So I'm not in a position to uh, comment on the Ngonyama Trust. All right. But the main issue was also his passion. And I think that, that, that fight for land will still go, go, go ahead. All right. All right, then, Prince, I mean, what do you think would be the effect of the death of the king on the province? Uh, really, at the moment, uh, we, we, we can't say exactly what would be the impact, but we are trusting uh, the Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation, uh, uh, Inkos Teles, uh, together with Inzungulu, that uh, they will handle uh, the process of succession in the most uh, successful manner that uh, the new incumbent, incumbent uh, will be capable of carrying on the duties that uh, the former king uh, was, was carrying. We believe that he will work uh, successfully with all the structures of the Zulu nation, uh, the royal house, uh, the traditional army, Amabuto, uh, Amakos and Izinduna, uh, uh, and everybody else. We believe that uh, uh, the, the, the incoming uh, uh, king will, will, will be of capable uh, character and skill to lead the Zulu nation as it's supposed to be. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us, Prince. And uh, thank you uh, to Mpumele Ngiti as well as Professor Haugele Ngubani. The news